countries. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi. guys to new back again um, welcome to uh, 12 games Christmas this is uh, game number four this is on the Mega Drive this is um, Shadow Dancer uh, it's in 1987 uh, Sega with an arcade game Sh uh, Shinobi probably played it it's a, it is a classic it's a classic arcade game very good then in, uh, two years later they actually made a sequel in the arcades uh, Shadow Dancer which is, it's a bit different to the other version you've got a dog this time Follows you around and all that. Which was, I think it was a pretty decent success in the arcade. And then uh, a year later, they brought it to the Mega Drive. But um, when they brought it home to the Mega Drive, they changed the game completely. And lucky for us, they actually made a better game than the arcade one. And um, Shadow Dance on the Mega Drive is definitely better than the arcade version. The arcade version is good. Uh, funny the mass system actually got uh, a good version of the arcade. It's not the best conversion, but it is actually the arcade one. Uh, I feel weird how the mass system did it, but um, I'm glad they definitely changed it for the actor. So, this is uh, my pick for um, playing over Christmas. It'll take you uh, a bit of practice to uh, beat this game. It's, it's not super difficult, but uh, you definitely won't be doing it on your first goal. And uh, definitely And uh, basically, uh, you've got to run for the levels. You've got to collect the hostages, just like you would in the arcade version. This is where the dog comes in handy. So you've got the dog in the arcade one as well. So there's a nice one up there. There's, I think there's two one ups on this level actually. Two secret ones. Actually no, there's a there's a secret on the next level. But yeah, bas basically you just uh, run for the stages, uh, fight a boss at the end, uh, usually after on the third stage, and then um, get a bonus round and pretty much uh, rinse and repeat. But uh, this is a really good fun game. Plays really well on the on the uh, on the Mega Drive. Very nice indeed. I didn't want to do that. Wasn't quite close enough to him then. Right, let's try again. So this game has got some really cool levels. Um, you got this. You got a cool level where you're going up the Statue of Liberty, which is quite cool. You got helicopters coming in trying to shoot you. Oh, I got that very cool. You got helicopters coming in trying to shoot you and stuff and. Uh, This is where the power up comes in very handy. Let's try again. You can't actually use the dog against those guys if you try using the dog. I think there's a one up there. You gotta Yeah, you can't use it if you use it against uh, guys with the shields. The dog will get killed. It's lucky, isn't it? Then, now you get to the boss now. This boss can be a little bit tricky, actually. Yeah, see, so this game is uh, pretty good fun. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge as well. Like I say, nothing too crazy difficult, but um, it is a pretty funky, funky Mega Drive's points anyway. 
Go ahead, 45 him. Vico. Expected now then. Doing terrible. Like I said, this game takes a little bit of practice and memorization on the levels where the need just not come from. There's a couple of Shinobi games on the Mega Drive. You got um, Super Shinobi, which is also very, very good. You got um, uh, Shinobi 3 as well, which is Revenge of Shinobi 2. Uh, that's, that's also very good as well. You've got Shadow Dancer. So you got uh, we're quite lucky on the match, I've actually got three Shinobi games. They don't really make Shinobi games anymore. They did uh, they did one for the Saturn, which is like a full motion video one. Which is it's not bad actually the Saturn version. That's my phone's coming from. No point in going down there. Eh? Yes, yeah, so we're quite lucky on the Mega Drive for the uh, free Shinobi games, and uh, good thing about them, they're all really good as well. When they check their shields, you can use that to your advantage. I'm going to jump in, jump back out. <laughs> I can see there's uh, quite a bit of memorization to the levels. It's a good thing about having that power-up shot is you can kill those things. One more to save. Put and be a ninja here or something. Yeah. Here we go, I'll get to the boss. And I'm dead. I can't remember what this boss does. I definitely don't want to be doing that. Oh, I didn't get far enough away then. Yeah, I'd say this game uh, is pretty cool. I think it's definitely well worth playing. <laughs> this is where the dog comes in very useful. Ah, uh, should have killed the blue one first. I 
to go nice and close to those guys. Do you want to kill them with your sword? enough time to get into the film. Anyway guys, that's um, Shadow Dancer on the Mega Drive. That's my pick for a game to play over Christmas. Um, really cool Mega Drive game. Actually better than the arcade version as well. So you can't fault that. Sega were quite cool at uh, doing things like that. But uh, like I said, it's not, not really expensive. The British version you can pick up. I'm sure you can get it for about a tenner on eBay. Which is not bad. Or play it on your EverDrive or play it on an emulator or something. But um, give it a go, see what you think. Right then, guys, so uh, we'll go now and um, come back tomorrow with another game. I just wonder what it is. Right then, bye now.